Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, and let's talk about the tropics across the Atlantic because it is uh, starting to get a bit more active out there. And on average, a first name storm system in the Atlantic Ocean is on June. 20th this year it would be called Alberto and it does look like maybe by the time you're watching this that we are going to have our first name storm system of the season a potential tropical cyclone uh, has been issued by the National Hurricane Center this is simply indicating that there is that increasing chance of a storm system developing over the course of the next 24 hours and this allows you to kind of um, issue warnings ahead of a developing storm before the actual storm has formed. It's a new product just a few years ago, the National Hurricane Center put in place. Now, you notice that cone though, and that's gonna come out here towards the coast of Mexico, but this is a classic example, and you can use this in future storms, that you don't always just wanna focus on the cone of air. Yes, it's important as far as that center of circulation, especially with stronger storms, you're talking about the eye wall. But in this one, there's a lot of flow. It's this monsoonal gyre of sorts that's wrapping it around this and pushing on shore across southeastern coastline of uh, Texas from Corpus Christi all the way up towards Galveston into the Houston area. And this is going to not only increase winds higher here than further down towards the south, but also the rainfall. Upwards of a foot of precipitation is possible in areas around Corpus Christi. Uh, definitely going to be bringing that threat of some flooding in that area. So something you want to want to shop for. Plus, there's another area in its wake right here that could be developing in the extended forecast. That area in yellow, that is separate from our forecast right there with potential tropical cyclone one. And then, of course, another one off here towards the east off of the eastern seaboard of Florida. We're continuing to watch too. So let's talk more about that. Well, I say off Florida, east of the Bahamas, it's still about 900 miles out there. This raid in here, not the most organized, not the most promising uh, area of convection. And that's why if you look at this and you're thinking, whoa, hold on a second. This looks like a full on hurricane heading towards us. This is a cone of air. It's not. It's none of that. Don't let the hype that you might see uh, on online and you're watching this video. So hopefully you're trying to stay informed. Uh, don't let that hype fool you. Try to give you the facts here. This is a low chance of development anywhere in here. Reality is, yeah, this thing's going to struggle to uh, form up here, but it does have impacts. That's because it's interacting with a high towards the north. So we are going to see a tightening of the pressure gradient on the north side of this developing low, increasing rainfall for places like the Bahamas, the east coast of Florida, and all the way out towards the first coast around Jacksonville, where we're going to be seeing that onshore wind over the course of Wednesday, Thursday, maybe even the Friday morning, and that passing rainfall. Coastal flooding definitely on, on the lower side, uh, but you could be seeing some beach erosion, dangerous rip currents, high surf, things like that. But not expected to become a named storm, but of course, sea surface temperatures are warm out there. We're always gonna be watching it here in that forecast. There is a pretty decent deficit across a good portion of Florida though, uh, and southeastern Georgia. So the rain is going to be welcomed, that is for sure. So look at this, we have that moisture flow off towards the west, moisture flow coming in from the east with this other wave. There is plenty to talk about here in the tropics, plus those sea surface temperatures where they should be in the month of August. So once again, this is Talking Tropics. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, always doing our best to keep you informed here on First Coast News. Make sure you continue to track us in at Hurricane Central at firstcoastnews.com.